Hitler if you think we're on the run. We are the boys who will stop your little game. We are the boys who will make you think again. Cause who do you think you are giving Mr. Hitler if you think old England's done? Mr. Brown goes off to town on the A21, but he comes home each evening and he's ready with his gun. So who do you think you are giving Mr. Hitler if you think old England's done? Don't you like it, then? Hmm? No, it's lovely. Absolutely lovely. I queued up for hours for that. No, oh, it's, 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 it's beautiful. I really am awfully fond of veal and ham pie. Of course, the whole thing's a farce. Oh, I don't know. I think we get on rather well. <laughs> I'm talking about Frank. Oh, Frank. It's a farce that he should have to waste a whole day going for his medical. Yes, well, he was bound to get his calling out paper sooner or later. But they couldn't possibly take him. Hmm? Not with his chest. Well... If he goes without his scarf, he gets croup. And then I'm up all night. Yeah, well, couldn't he possibly wear his scarf underneath his uniform? Can you hmm? see him doing that? He's like you. He won't be advised. Look what happened when I tried to cure his sinus. Yes, well, perhaps he just didn't like sleeping with a hot water bottle on his face. <laughs> there you are, then. And what about his weak ankles? Mm. Slightest thing and over he goes. No, I didn't know about that. Why do you think I spend hours holding ice packs on his feet? I've often wondered. <laughs> on top of that, there's his nerves. That face thing of his is really rather worrying. Face thing? Yes. What face thing? Well, haven't you noticed he does it to... He's been doing it ever, ever since he got his calling up papers. Doing what? Well, this, see. <laughs> <laughs> that. Well, that's his age. All boys do that. Oh, do they? Arthur! Hmm? How many times have I asked you not to smoke during meals? Well, look, Mary's please, honestly, look, now, look, I, mean, I have. I'm, I practically finished it up, haven't I? Hmm? You don't eat enough to keep a fly alive. Oh. Beats me where you get your energy from. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's back. Hello, Mum. <laughs> and about time, too. You know you're due on parade in ten minutes. Now sit down and don't bolt your tea. Well, don't you want to know how I got on? Well, it couldn't have taken them more than five minutes to decide about you. They're all day. They passed me fit on May 1. May 1? Oh, no! No, 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 all right. No, no, Mavis, please, for heaven's sake, don't upset yourself. Well, it must be a mistake. I should have gone with him. Did you tell him what I told you? Yeah. And the doctor said there's nothing wrong with me that can't be put right with exercise, fresh air and good food. Good food? Good food? I gave him my egg this morning, didn't I? Mm. Tell him, Arthur. He gave you her egg, Frank. <laughs> Thank you. You'll have to go and see them, Arthur. Huh? They're not having my Frank for a soldier. No. I've asked to be put in the RAF. <laughs> you? In an aeroplane? You get dizzy standing on a chair. I asked them if I could be a Spitfire pilot. <laughs> they said I'd have to be an ordinary aircraftman first and see how I got on. <laughs> Just think. I'll be the second of the few. <laughs> oh, what a uh, difference it would make to... Stand there, ease. Now, where's Jones? <laughs> He's not here. <laughs> He's absent. Mark him absent without leave. Pay attention. In a few weeks' time, we are going to lose one of the loyalist members of our platoon, Private Pike. <laughs> now, young Frank Pike has been with us since the day we were formed. Uh, 
Why does he keep doing that? What's that, sir? Hmm? <laughs> I think it's just his age, sir. All, all boys do it, you know. I didn't. <laughs> now, to mark the occasion of his departure, I prefer... <laughs> I'm sorry I'm late, Captain Manning. There's been a bit of a crisis at the shop. Yes, so settle down, Jones. Well, aren't you going to ask me what the crisis is? You cut your finger. Who told you? <laughs> You've been marked absent without leave. Well, I had to go to the hospital. It's one of the hazards of my profession, Captain Manning. Yes, well, you're here now, anyway. Mm, I don't want you to worry because it's my trigger finger. I'm amphibious. Oh, good. <laughs> And I can still give him the old cold steel, you know, sir. I can still shove it right up. Yes, all right, thank you. <laughs> Where was I up to? Well, I think we were discussing what to do with the young Pike, sir. Oh, yes, yes, that's it. Leave the room, Pike. Why, what have I done? It's all right, Frank. <laughs> all right, all right. We're just uh, trying to think out ways of uh, celebrating your departure. Oh, right, I'll go then. <laughs> I'll wait in here. <laughs> You must speak to his mother about that. Very often indicates a deep-seated disorder, you know. Come on. I think, as you say, the lad, he's been a very good boy. And I suggest we should have voluntary collection. Um, maximum sixpence. <laughs> Why could we buy him a penknife? I had a penknife when I was his age. I, I used a lot of... I, I used to whittle. <laughs> What do you think, Wilson? Well, sir, I, uh, I know Pike pretty well. Uh, and he knows his mother pretty well, too. <laughs> Let's not get personal <laughs> about this. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Crazy. I think it's very nice of Sergeant Wilson to look after Mrs. Pike the way she, he does. I, I, he's a true gentleman. Yeah. <laughs> we had an officer who used to look after three ladies. He was a gentleman. He won't be true, though. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not get diverted. You're about to make a suggestion, Wilson. Yes, I was, sir. But you see, I, I happen to know what Pike likes. And I think it would be a good idea if we were to give him a... a celebration supper of fish and chips at the restaurant. Oh! Oh, that sounds a capital idea, yes. What do you think of that? I think it's yeah, a good idea, good idea, good idea sir. Right, right, you can come in now, Pike. We've decided what to do for your surprise farewell. Oh, good. <laughs> I like fish and chips. <laughs> Never hear me complain again if I only had wings. Is that one of theirs or one of ours? That's one of theirs. You can tell by the coming and going hum. Mm. 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 Makes the back of your neck go all goosey, doesn't it? <laughs> hey, Pikey, you're not worried about joining up, are you? No. Not really. Uh, you don't want to worry about joining up. Well, not in these modern times. I'll never forget the day I joined up. They shaved all my hair off and they washed me all over with carbolic. <laughs> and then they gave me a great big basin of cold, fatty soup, a prickly horse blanket, and I cried myself to sleep. Did you? <laughs> different now, I expect. <laughs> yeah, expect it is. Yeah. But one thing won't have changed, and that's a comradeship. No, that won't have changed. You've got to learn comradeship, Pikey boy. Yeah, yeah, I'll have to learn that. Yeah. If someone nicks your kit, you make sure you nick somebody else's. <laughs> Always be first in the queue when the grub's up, and then you gobble it up quick and you can go around the second time and have some more. <laughs> Never volunteer and always look after number one. Someone drops you in it, make sure you drop them in it. <laughs> That's the best part of the army is the comradeship. <laughs> yeah. Looking forward to that. <laughs> Look 
Well, it's like this, Mr. Mannering. The blood donor people will be taking the church hall for two days. His reverence has agreed. Mr. Mannering is aware of that, Mr. Yateman. Well, of course, blood's very important at times such as this, and I want to be sure we have a good turnout. So the point is this. How much of the stuff can you manage? <laughs> Not personally, but uh, <laughs> as a group. Ah, well, now, let's see. I mean, there'll be the whole of the platoon and their, uh, their relations, no doubt. I should put it down for 50. 50 pints? That's rather a lot, isn't it? What are you talking about? There's 20 in the platoon. We're only going to rustle up another 30. Hello, Napoleon. <laughs> What's this? Mother's meeting. Do you mind not barging into my office without knocking? What do you mean, your office? It's my office as well, mate. May I remind you both that, first and foremost, it is my office. You've told him, have you? Oh, no. Um, uh, the warden's group will be doing their donoring on the first day. Mm. Oh, and uh, they give a certificate to each group to uh, put on the wall. It's a sort of um, parchment-like with a, a red seal and a bit of ribbon. Uh, they look very nice. Yes, and my certificate will go right up on that wall there. Chief Warden Hodge's group donated 50 pints. In that case, my certificate will be directly above it. George Mannering, 100 pints. <laughs> sir, aren't you being a little bit hasty? You just leave this to me, Wilson. Where are you going to get 100 pints from? And if it comes to that, where are you going to get 50 from? Well, I'll arrange it through my shop. Anybody who signs on will get a pound of onions. Oh. <laughs> well, if that's the game, Jones can give sausages away. They can't. They're rationed. Well, dripping or something. <laughs> anyway, the people that I recruit won't need bribing. Well, my entire congregation will naturally throw its weight behind this scheme. And to be absolutely fair, I shall divide them equally between you both. That'll be three each. <laughs> <laughs> and toss up for the organist. <coughs> and don't you be no now, Pike. much more than... Have you ever suffered from jaundice? No. I'll get croup. Mum says my ankles are a bit wonky. Whenever I stand on anything, I get a bit of verdigris. <laughs> Apart from that, I'm fit as a fiddle. Mark him down as a fiddle. <laughs> All right, sir. All right, that'll do, Pank. Yes, sir. What's the score? Well, uh, there's Godfrey Jones and Fraser. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine not eligible, because mm. they're over age. Jaundice, two. One on pills. The golf is on pills, so that's twice you can't have him. <laughs> Look, only count them once, or we shall get into a terrible mess. Yes, all I see. So, but two with colds and uh, oh no, uh, yes, uh, private Elgood. Elgood? Yeah, Elgood. He's 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 the one who's. Uh, what? Well. <laughs> that leaves you, me, and Pike. Yes. <laughs> Well, I'm afraid you're going to have to cut me out, sir. Why is that? Well, you see, I'm, as a matter of fact, I'm a little bit anemic. <laughs> Absolute rubbish. No, it isn't rubbish at all, sir, as a matter of fact. I, I had a word with my doctor this morning, and he said, uh, far from giving it, I ought to be having it. <laughs> <laughs> you're just trying to wriggle out of it, aren't you, because no, you're no, afraid. No, not at all, not at all, sir. No, I, I've been a donor on many occasions. It's just that I possibly <laughs> I'm a little bit run down. I, Perhaps I've been overdoing things a little bit just lately. <laughs> You've never overdone anything while I've been about. <laughs> the fact remains, sir, that you're still very short of your target. 98 pints oh. short. <laughs> it's a disaster. Yes, well, I did warn you not to be too hasty. But, sir, uh, desperate times call for desperate doings. And uh, why can't we falsicate our ages? I'm sure we pass the 65, uh, uh, some of us. <laughs> yes. No, I'm afraid I couldn't be a party to anything like that, Fraser, but uh, what a marvellous spirit we have here. Yes, we have yes. indeed, sir. Absolutely marvellous, oh. yes. I'm going to talk to the men. Are you? Help me up under this form. Yes, yeah, of course. <coughs> yeah. All right, sir. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, oh, pay attention to the officer. Come right. along now. The officer wants to pay attention to. Come along. Pay attention to the officer. Men are now paying attention, sir. <laughs> Thank you, Jones. Sir, would you like the men to stand to attention while they're paying attention? No, 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 don't. Bother. <laughs> no, no, don't bother with all that. Don't <laughs> <coughs> Now, the platoon 
is facing a crisis. I won't conceal the fact, but due to no fault of ours, we are falling short of our target. 98 pints short. <laughs> Never mind about the details. Now, we've had dark times before, but by standing together, we have always triumphed. And it behoves every man of us to search the highways and the byways and call on all our friends, loved ones and relations so that they can rally ra to our bottle cry. <laughs> I do wish you wouldn't do things like that. <laughs> rally to our cause. Uh, excuse me, Captain Manning. Will all Mrs. Manning be rallying to the cause? <laughs> and I feel sure <laughs> that with our combined efforts, that, that certificate is as good as on the wall now. Hey, Fraser, I don't think Mrs. Manning would do a lot of rallying. <laughs> Well, it's the least you can do for your country. I'm sorry, Captain Manry. There's not a sign of anyone else. Thank you, Godfrey. I don't understand this at all. It's not like Jones to let us down. Oh, he went off with ten men with their fixed bayonets. Really, Captain Manning, this is too bad. I have all these nurses standing by for a hundred pint operation, and so far I have you, the boy, and the vicar. I know, I'm very sorry, Doctor. I, I can assure you, they'll, they'll be along in a few minutes. Well, I sincerely hope so. I could have gone to another town. Vicar, what happened to the three that you promised me? Ah, well, the flesh is weak, Mr. Manring, and they hadn't seen any onions for a month. <laughs> <laughs> this really is most awkward, isn't it, Wilson? I really do feel very deeply for you. Look, couldn't you help us out? I'm terribly sorry. You must realise how embarrassing a situation this is for me. Well, can't you and Frank go round again? Oh. <laughs> I think Mum wanted to come. But she's ever so upset at losing me. I'm all she's got, you know. That's why she was a bit off with Uncle Arthur when he asked her. Oh, you did ask, then? Yes. At breakfast. Oh, Frank. <laughs> I think she was going to say yes. That is until Uncle Arthur mentioned there was a sort of burnt taste about the, about the porridge. So she picked up the pan and poured it in his on burgat. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't spoken since. You take my advice. Whoever you marry, take a very firm stand with your wife from the outset. <laughs> you start as you mean to go on, eh? That's right. Yeah, I, I, I'll remember that. Good lad. <sighs> Mrs. Menring, come in. <laughs> <laughs> I said, is Mrs. Mannering coming? <laughs> you know, you're going to have to do something about that habit of yours. What habit? This. <laughs> what? <laughs> do I do that? Almost at the end of every sentence you go. <laughs> oh, how awful. Oh, thank you for telling me, Mr. Mannering. When you were talking to young Frank just now, mm. you know, I, I believe you're beginning to catch this face thing. It's explaining to the boy that if he doesn't God stop it... Just... it's a bit quiet, isn't it? You couldn't move in here yesterday when my lot were in. Let's have a look at the score, Doc. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Odges 50, Manor in 3. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, most of my people haven't turned up yet. Well, I sincerely hope they come soon. Go on, admit it, Mannering, you've lost. That is one consolation, Captain Mannering. From my initial test, it seems that Private Pike is of a very rare blood group. You won't find one like him in 10,000. Well done, Frank. Do that, Mr. Mannering. I'm one in 10,000. I always said he wasn't normal. <laughs> oh, don't insult this boy. He's going to serve his country. Oh, blimey, there must be scrape in the barrel. <laughs> Give me the details of your call-up and I'll notify your unit, just in case. Right, start packing up, sister. We move on to the next collection point. <clears throat> Excuse me, Captain Mannering. Yes, but don't be too long. <laughs> it's a, the yard is full of people, sir. Well, use the one next to the vestry. What have the Joneses brought them, sir? What? Uh, Captain Mannering, sir, I've done it, sir. I've done it. 97 pints I've got, sir. I've done it, sir. What are you talking about, Jones? Fraser, come on, bring the sergeant in. Go on, 
Bobby, get in there, go on, go. Quick, right, let's go. Salute the officer. Salute the company! No! <laughs> what the fuck are you sticking me with a bayonet? <laughs> I don't make it trouble. Me buddy, buddy, friend. What's all this about? Well, so I went down to the Italian prisoner of war POW camp and I saw the guard there and I gave him a little bit of fillet steak, sir, and he let me bring 80 prisoners of wars out for donoring purposes, sir. I object. That's not fair. That's enemy blood. Of course it's fair. They started it. He! <laughs> what do you call me enemy for? I am not enemy. I sit at home, mind my business. Trattoria Pesano, very good food. I cook myself. <laughs> And then <laughs> they, they come to me, they say, hey, you, you got to go, you got to go fight. You got to go bangy bang. We is not to blame, Signor Capitano. It's the Signor Adolf Hitler. They is to blame. Your government should be more careful about who it chooses for friends. <laughs> <laughs> friends? Oh, you should talk about friends. What about uh, the Stalins? That's enough of that. <laughs> there, there, there's 88 eyes in the church, Uncle. His reverence will have a fit. I'm here, Mr. Yates, but I'm not given to having fits. Yeah, well, even with cheating, you've still only got 83. I've still won because I've reached my target. Oh, no, you haven't. I've got 17 nuns as well. <laughs> I was coming to that. There are 17 nuns in the yard as well, Your Reverence, and they're all Roman Catholics. Nuns quite often are, Mr. Yates. <laughs> you see, when I was down the Italian POW camp, sir, these nuns were there administering to their needs, and they were giving them nice balaclavas and, and knitted socks, and they're all Roman Catholics, you know. Uh, uh, one, I think he was a Hebrew. <laughs> <laughs> and 83 and 17 make 100. Well done, Jones. Well, there you are, Doctor. We've fulfilled our target. Good show. We'll get weaving, sister. Right, Chairman Jones. Ladies right. first. Right. Come on, Hughes. Come on, Bill. Come on. Please wait for the gunnery. Nuns first and I tie second. <laughs> Let's watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Very nice. Yeah, isn't it? Yes, it is. Oh, it's lovely, sir. Yes. That's it. Two place and two. One. No, no, two cord and two. Uh, one place and two. That right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and here's your pound. And now I want eight and ten pence change. Oh, haven't you got yours yet, Captain? No, no. Mine's, uh, mine's a fillet of place and, and two bedworths of uh, fried potato. Oh, yes. Hello, son. Here it is. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Oh, oh, no, 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 that's not right. It's not seemly for, a, for an officer to have his fish and chips on paper. No, well, I must admit a, a plate would be very nice. Can we have a plate for Captain Manning, please? Don't bother the man, he's counting my change. Sorry! <laughs> hey, Master, sorry. We haven't got plates for everybody, you know. There you There's go. a war on. Oh, dear, well, never mind. Just a minute, sir. Here you are. You have my plate. There you are, that's it. Right. Oh, no, that's wrong, isn't it? Cos you were placing two and I was codding two. Here, hang on a minute. <laughs> no, no, wait a minute, sir. Wait a minute, that's wrong, because, look, I've only... I've only got six chips left. But here, you... Hang on to those a minute. <laughs> you have those, and I'll have these. There you are, set up. Yours is on a plate and mine's on the paper. There we are. Thank you, Jones. <laughs> Would you like a pickle, Daniel, or a gherkin, sir? No, thank you. Sir. <laughs> Quite enough trouble here. I don't have them either, sir. Miss Manning, you'd like some raspberry aid? Yeah, oh, well, very little, thank you, Robert. Well, oh, that, that's enough. Well, there's plenty of it. It's all paid for. Would you rather have lime fizz, then? No, yeah, thank you. No, no, no. I'm very, nice. very happy with what I've got, thank you. Oh. Why are we drinking raspberry aid? Well, well uh, we... Frank likes it, you see, and after all, this is party. Hello, Napoleon. Oh. Eating with the poor people, are we? Oh. Go away, will you? This is a private party. No, don't take any notice of it. All right, sir. I think I'm going to have to go for a long walk in the fresh air after this. <laughs> I arrive home with my clothes smelling of fish and chips. My wife will have a fit. Huh? Very sensitive nose, you know. I smoked a cigarette in the house once. She tried to keep me out of the sitting room for three days. I wouldn't stand for that, I don't know. Look here, I said. That's your attitude. 
I'll stay out of the sitting room for a week. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to be having some difficulty with the salt, sir. Yes, I do, rather. Here, yeah, let me do it, Mr. Mammy. It gets clogged up, doesn't it? It's the air that does it. Yeah. Hang on. Can I use that? Thank you very much, Frank. Hey! You're not going to long, are you? I've got a queue on my long outside. Hard on, hard on, you've had our money, hard your wished. Well, perhaps we'd better just have the speeches and go. Right, then, sir. Come along, gentlemen. Charge your glasses. Right. Come on, charge your glasses, Mr. Manley. No, I have enough in it, thank you. Oh, right. Oh, oh, sir, by the way, sir. We thought that as Sergeant Wilson is more closely associated with young Pike, perhaps he ought to make the speech. Yeah, that's all right. Good yeah. idea. Right. I don't make it long. It'll get very boring. All right, sir, yes, sir. I'll yeah. remember that. Pikey, you've got to answer. Well, well, before I say anything, can I have another cotton chips, please? One cotton chips for Pikey. One more cotton chips coming up. <laughs> we know. Ladies and gentlemen, pray silence to Sergeant Wilson. Thank you, gentlemen. Thanks very much, everybody. Well, now, ladies and gentlemen, this is really a dual celebration, you know, because uh, Captain Manning, we've got to congratulate him on the, the marvellous job he's done with the, uh, the blood donor scheme. Yeah, and that was a fiddle. That was a fiddle. You had a load of nuns and whops. Now, the, the, the town clerk, sir, has presented you with this. Um, this little scroll. Oh, right. No, you want to send it to Mussolini or the Pope? <laughs> now, to continue, ladies and gentlemen, uh, uh, secondly, we would like, I'm sure, to wish good luck and Godspeed to one of our fellow soldiers, Private Frank Pike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Frank, you've always been a very loyal member of this platoon. And we shall always remember you. Well, well, I've got all these chips sweet, yeah. Uh, come on, come on, Frank. Get up and speak, man. Come on. You, you take your time, Frank. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen. N no, gentlemen. Uh, <laughs> thank, thank you very much for the fish and chip supper. I don't want to make a long speech. But I, I would like to tell you a funny story. Good, good. I like a funny story. <laughs> I hope it won't be coarse. <laughs> you remember some of us gave blood for this certificate thing? Well, they found out that mine was ever so rare. So they wrote to the RAF and told them. And then the RAF said that if I was wounded or anything like that, well, they wouldn't have anything to transfuse me with. <laughs> I hope you don't mind me saying it, son, but... So far, your story hasn't been highly comic. <laughs> no, well, the funny thing is, they won't have me. I'm not going. <laughs> what? You're not going? When did you learn this? Yesterday. <laughs> Why didn't you say something? Well, no one's ever given a supper in my honour before. Didn't want to miss me fish and chips. <laughs> I like fish and chips. You stupid boy. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.